into the second half of the show where we always switch years and for the next 60 minutes um, heading way back into the archives to 1990. I'm going to tell you more about what was going on at the time later on because I don't want to talk over this amazing intro and I've got so much that I want to play. So let's crack on. Let's push on with Asher and JJ Tribute. Let God 
use you this week for his glory. Let us beautify the house of God together. I am excited about the house of God. 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 The house of God. Oh, we love our own houses, but it's time to fall in love with God's house, to fall in love with doing something in the house of God. I need at least a hundred of you listening now. Right men send fifty dollars or more this week for the ministry itself, for the work of God, for the beautification of the house of God. And when you send something for God's house, God's gonna put a miracle in your house. People of the nations, dancing together. That last one was by DHS called House of God. If you're not old enough to remember it from 1990, you might know, of course, from the Barry White sampling You See the Trouble With Me by Black Legend in 2000. Sunday night on Kiss Street, it's the Dance Music Archive. I'm Andy Durant, and we head over to Italy for this next one. Three guys who went on to form um, another group called Expressa Sound a few years later created a massive dance anthem later in the decade with real vibration, but back in 1990 went under the name Smallage. Uh, might be new to a lot of people, this one. New to you, as you say. Um, maybe one to add to your playlist. It is called together.
out all those years ago and it wasn't a very long time ago it was to be a dj on the radio and to play the music that myself and so many people you know the listeners and the people that other djs and everybody love so much and that's that's what the whole thing was about it, it wasn't about getting the walls or whatever but when when we actually got the license uh, back in 1990 and none of us could really believe it that we'd taken this pirate kind of radio station and got it legalized. It was an amazing time. It was a, an exciting time. Andy Durant's Dance Music Archive on Kistory. We'll be right back. 
LD with Getting Out, love that. Before that, Alison Limerick, Well Love Lives, an FPI project with Risky. It's the Dance Music Archive on Kistry. I'm Andy Durant on a cold and damp and dark Sunday, November evening. I hope you tucked up nice and warm. Uh, in fact, 1990 was the year there was a huge storm, talking of bad weather, with hurricane force winds that destroyed three million trees and lots of houses and property. Uh, people were writing on the streets about the new poll tax. Mr Bean and Keeping Up Appearances was on TV. Margaret Thatcher resigned as Prime Minister. And Channel Tunnel Workers from the UK and France finally met up 40 metres beneath the uh, English Channel. In the world of dance, Stone Roses played a uh, now sort of legendary Spike Island gig in Cheshire with Dave Haslam, Paul Oakenfold and Frankie Bones. Manchester Police continued their long-running battle with the Hacienda in one of the, uh, as well, one of the, the sort of biggest mass arrests in British history. Um, 830 something clubbers were detained at the Love Decade party near Leeds. We've made a video about that before, actually. And, most importantly, pirate radio station KISS became Britain's first legal dance music radio station. So we a little bit more down tempo before we um, take a very quick break. This is DNA featuring Suzanne Vega with the timeless Tom's Diner. <laughs> He fills it only halfway 
the man behind the counter to the woman who has come in she is shaking her umbrella and i look the other way as they are kissing their hellos and i'm pretending not to see them and instead i pour the milk <laughs> a story of an actor who had died while he was drinking it was no one i had heard of and i'm turning to the horoscope and looking for the funnies when i'm feeling someone watching me and so i raise my head She does not really see me cause she sees her own reflection And I'm trying not to notice that she's hitching up her skirt And while she's straightening her stockings, her hair has gotten wet the bells of the cathedral I am thinking of your voice Always love that since I was a kid. It's like very visual record, that isn't it? You can just sort of um, put yourself sat in that diner next to Suzanne and see it all happening around you. I love it. DNA featuring Suzanne Vega, Tom's Diner on Kistry. This is the Dance Music Archive. I'm Andy Durant, and I'll be back in just a second with the final part of this week's show as we finish off some of the very best dance music of 1990. Sunday night, Kistry. This is the Dance Music Archive. It's Kistory. I'm Andy Durant. A massive thanks for listening. I hope you're enjoying it. We're doing 1990 for the final 25 minutes of the show. Still loads I want us to, uh, to listen to together, so let's get straight back into it with a record that's, I suppose, sort of gone down in, in dance music folklore as one of the sort of most important and groundbreaking electronic tracks of the last 35 years. Ironically, I only took them like half a day to come up with and they broke for lunch at the pub. Brothers Paul and Phil Hartnell, this is Orbital and Chime.
Music Archive of, of, of history. Andy Durant. 1990. My house is your house and your house is mine.
Taylor James with Special before that two in a room and Wiggle It and the Break Boys with My House Is Your House which has been sampled on so many um, like uh, ch- tunes, hard house records and banging techno over the years. Uh, as we do 1990 on the Dance Music Archive, a time before mobile phones, before social media, before online shopping, before the internet really, I mean certainly before music streaming or MP3s or... You know, when the kind of music that, we, that we're playing was only really available on lovely big slabs of 12-inch vinyl. There was no Playstations or Xboxes. If you're lucky, you had a Nintendo Game Boy and a Sony Walkman. But at a time, of course, of huge cultural change and movement in the UK, based mainly around the music scene as well. Now, I wanted to finish off in a more kind of chilled way for the last 10, 15 minutes, send us all off into the week together, a bit more relaxed and grounded and, and like, warm and fuzzy. Um, next up is The Orb, who got into a lot of trouble um, for sampling the vocal on this one, was taken from an interview with uh, American singer Ricky Lee Jones, released exactly this weekend, 33 years ago. This is Little Fluffy Clouds. Over the past few years, to the traditional sounds of an English summer, a drain of lawnmowers, the smack of leather on willow, has been added a new noise. What were the, what sky? were the skies like when you were young? They went on forever. They, when I we lived in Arizona, and the skies always had little fluffy clouds in them. And, uh, they were long, clear. There were lots of stars at night. And uh, when it would rain, it would alter. It, they were beautiful, the most beautiful skies. As a matter of fact, uh, the sunsets were purple and red and yellow on fire. The clouds would catch the colors everywhere. In me, because I used to look at them all the time when I was little. You don't see that.